Hello and welcome my beautiful Geminis, my beautiful twins. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 15th to the 21st year of 24, this brand new year. And it will be a year of many changes, transformation and transitions for a lot of you signs. Gemini, you're very adaptable I'm seeing, but there have there will be some challenges that you're going to have to overcome and that is happening now in this month of January but we're going to get through this because there's some great energy coming in towards you this is sort of a temporary situation right now so on that note this is a general not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every one of you Gemini's in the universe so take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe here we go let's see what you've got coming in with your first card you've got your all over download message is confidence so right now your confidence might be tested uh, you might be going through a, a situation right now where you're feeling that things may not be working out the way or have worked out the way you want it um, it's leaving you lacking a little bit of confidence in yourself and in a situation or even in a relationship but the universe is saying step up into your confidence don't be afraid if you know you're right you're right um, and allow yourself to go after those goals that you truly want focus on the things that are important to you now Gemini and it's time to get back down to earth and get back down to those goals that you had originally started prior to this January so staying focused and going after those goals and stepping into your your confidence level to do this and that's your ace in your pocket is holding your head high and going after this with confidence now your first card coming in here your oracle messages you do have the clock and the clock has to do with time management right some of you could be dealing with people internationally on different time zones but time is of the essence for others okay and then for others it's time for you to take time so this can work both ways depending on who this message is for so you'll know as we go through this reading some of you may have to set aside time to get things done and others might have to take time out okay so that's what it's referring to now your first card coming in is the seven of swords and then you have the three of pentacles along with the strength card seven of swords says something might have happened very suddenly sometimes in or pardon me the knight of swords um I don't know why I want to call it the seven but anyhow the knight of swords is coming in here and it's telling me that you're going to have to act on something quickly something might be coming up or you might be wanting to jump to conclusions or jump into something be careful okay don't make any rash decisions choices or sign things in a big hurry because you want something really fast uh, be sure to read between the lines and know uh, that you need to step up into your confidence level and know that um, right now your commitment here is being tested okay and you you need to just not make any rash decisions right now this could also be your knight in shining armor riding in here to sweep you off your feet um, for some of you you may be interested in that too again uh, caution on the side of carefulness um, or an error on the side of caution rather um, don't do anything too quickly here all right because <clears throat> now we're moving into uh, the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is telling me that you might be collaborating with other people you might be building a team or hiring a team to work for you under you advocate for you defend you whatever the case is whatever you're dealing with because there could be some legal action here that some of you Gemini's are working on and you might be wanting to get together and literally get together and talk about this situation um, and you know when you do that uh, the you know when you're working with a good team and a team and, and that you, you're going to be able to come to a conclusion you're going to be able to, to uh, come to um, you know come to a conclusion together where you're working for the same goal and that everybody's on the same page okay then you might be asked to step up and speak for yourself uh, and to articulately creatively and accurately be able to convey information to these people um, but they're going to be you're, they're working with you okay this is a team that's what teams do so this could be at work could be in your business it could be a legal action that you're working with a team of professionals with the strength card comes in and says don't give up stand in your confidence and know that you are stronger than you believe you are because there's times where you're probably feeling um, you know your, your commitments being tested and you don't know whether you should pursue whatever it is you're fighting for or working for or working on but this is saying don't lose your cool um, this is about saying that uh, 
err on the side of restraint. In other words, listen to the whole story and that way you're going to be able, rather than the heat of the moment, um, you know, blurt out things that you're going to regret later, okay? This is about looking at things more more creatively, more understanding, more, with more compassion, tolerance, and patience right now, okay? So, because words are things we can never take back, my beautiful friends. And you've heard me say this a zillion times. Now, I was saying here, your commitment's being tested. This is the first quarter moon. Um, you know, this is about going after your goals, but then you start to wonder, is it going to happen? Is it going to work out? Am I ever going to see this progress? Am I ever going to see this abundance? Am I ever going to get what I've, I've been working on? And so right now there's challenges, challenges. And I had said that in the beginning of this when I started out that I was getting downloads uh, in the intro that there are going to be challenges this month and really a lot this particular month. But January, this is just this month. We're not going into February with this reading. So your commitment is being tested here. And some of you may be tempted to do something or tempted to give up or tempted to... Uh, tempted to throw in the towel. I wouldn't do that. That can have to do with anything. It can have to do with your job. It can have to do with something that you're defending yourself for. It could be a relationship, whatever the case is. But I do think that um, you, you're, you're being tested right now and being able to see things from a different light and a higher perspective. Stand in your confidence. That's what it says. Now, your next cards you've got are beautiful. You've got the Six of Wands. You've got the Queen of Wands. And you've got the Two of Pentacles. So you're, you're going to have to maintain some balance here, okay? Uh, you know, you might be feeling as though you're you're being drawn between, uh, you know, at a crossroads with a situation right now. Um, but maintain balance, okay? Take yourself to center. Um, this is about maybe having to... Um, you know, juggle things around a little bit. Uh, you might be finding you're busy. And remember what you said about the clock here? Time management. Very important that you start putting things down um, organized, okay, is what they're telling me. Tick them off as you go along. But there could be two options, two offers, two proposals, two uh, decisions and choices you're going to have to make. Um, don't don't stress out about it, okay? Think about it and then say, yeah, this is going to bring me to my greater good. I'll pick this one. You're very determined and you need to stay that way. Queen of Wands says don't back down, okay? Yeah, your commitment is being tested and so is your confidence right now. But stay on track. Stay on this, this path. Don't waver off, okay? This, this isn't the card that says you're going to go around this labyrinth. This is a card that says stay focused, okay, on the goal that you want to see achieved and you want to see success with. So whatever that is you're working on, my gems, stay there. Uh, you know, you've, you've had a lot of challenges. You've walked through the fire. The, I think the worst is going to be over. And now you're able to go forward confidently with your head held high. And all those people that are trying to doubt you or, or, or put in their two cents worth in, a, in their opinion, they're going to find they're wrong because Six of Wands shows up. And that says victory after hard work and struggle. Staying focused, not wavering, standing your ground, standing in who you are, uh, standing up for your rights uh, is definitely going to bring you Six of Wands energy. Yeah. Getting recognized for who you are, receiving, uh, you know, standing up for yourself here, working hard for something, accomplishing something here uh, is really, really bringing you to your happiness and your peace. So the Six of Wands says you might even be recognized internationally. Maybe you're building a business. Maybe uh, you're building a bigger friendship circle. People around you are going to want to support you and be in your company. Wow. You could be receiving an award or a diploma in something too. Now, coming in next, you have the yin card. And the yin is the opposite to the yang. Yang is male energy. Yin is female energy. But this particular deck talks about, you know, tapping into the feminine part of you, but also about um, stepping back and letting, uh, uh, the, the, letting the, the other side come to you. Okay, this is about not jumping in and making the first phone call. Okay, this is about you waiting to hear from somebody or waiting for them to come to you. Uh, that's relinquishing. That's surrendering that. Okay, and sometimes it's difficult because we want to take control. We want to be able to do these things. We get excited and we want to go forward. This card's saying, uh-uh, don't do that because you've got the hangman coming in next too, which means taking your time, hanging, waiting for something to come in. You've done everything you can. So the yin card says, let them come to you first or let that energy come to you first. Okay, so there's a situation where you, you might have had your commitment tested, your confidence tested, something might have happened here which required you to be strong and now you just have to sit back and wait. 
okay? Because the hangman's coming in here with the two of wands and with the nine of cups. So, you know, you might feel as though things are going slow right now. You're waiting to hear about something. I've been saying this forever and ever and ever for some of my Geminis. They're waiting. They're waiting. It could be a court issue. Um, it could be, um, you know, a proposal they put out, an idea, uh, uh, results for something uh, from some, you know, maybe some tests they're waiting for. Uh, but you're waiting for something here. And it's okay. This is still only a temporary pause of action. Okay. This isn't permanent. And while you're there, you're still working in the background. Okay. Getting the information you need and, and thinking about, well, what do I need to to sacrifice what do I need to give up to get this okay so sometimes maybe compromise is coming into the equation where you might be getting an offer and you're having to think about well it isn't what I wanted or what I expected but maybe I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth so think about that okay that's what they're telling me now two of wands says yeah waiting for that ship to come in dreaming about what you could do when this abundance shows up uh you know being happy but I'm seeing that you, you're not going to do this alone. I think you have someone that's going to be there with you. This is partnership, okay, whether it's in business or in love. Planning on something here. You could be uh, having to make a trip for business or make a trip, uh, you know, uh, for some reason other than a vacation, but some of you could be mixing the two together. But this is about realizing that, yeah, you're waiting for your ship to come in, but in the meantime, work, work together with somebody else to work on this. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, keep dreaming big, keep, keep being focused on what it is you're working on because you want that victory to come into you and it's really good. So there's people here around you that you're in touch with uh, right now that you're trying to work with, okay? Stand in your confidence, don't give up, even though you're having to wait here, okay? Even though you're having to wait, don't give up, okay? Timing is everything, okay? Timing's everything and sometimes we don't have it in our control to change it. So that's temporary, dealing with someone else here, someone you might have met, someone you might have met on a trip, somebody you might be planning a trip with, um, you know, you're thinking about that situation, you could be thinking about them and, and um, you know, reminiscing or reflecting on something that happened there. But often this is partnership and partnership, it can be in business as well. So let's see what we've got here, collaborating with someone else, right? So let's see what we have here for... Uh, your verification cards coming in with this reading what do you need to see know and expect spirit and guides for my beautiful twins my gemini's so let's see what we have here all righty let's see what we have okay so coming in with that knight of swords that fast moving action you've got the temperance card aha yeah didn't I say you don't go jump into conclusions, don't go rushing into anything, don't make any snap decisions or sign any illegal papers quickly. Temperance is that card that says, take yourself to center, breathe in, breathe out, and go to your center for balance. Okay, this is doing things in moderation, thinking about it before you do it, um, and knowing that you've got guidance here. You know, most Geminis are, are really tapped into their spiritual side, and this is always depicted either with wings behind a person or as, as a divine, uh, you know, angel. So know that you're being protected and you're being guided, and you're getting these messages that you need to, to uh, take your time. All right, and, and uh, don't get all stressed out about this temporary pause of action. Coming in with your three of, of pentacles, you know, joining up with the team, you, again, you have the two of wands. Look, you're definitely going to be collaborating with someone else here. There might be some discussions here about something with someone that you needed to talk to about. Uh, very different ideas, very different people, very different outlooks, okay? Coming in next, you have the lovers on top of the strength card. Yeah, being balanced again. That's what it's all about. Making choices and decisions that could be determined around someone on an emotional level. Simple as that. Okay. So there, it, it also the lovers can be uh, indicative of if you've been looking for love or a soulmate or someone in your life. This could be somebody coming in for some of you. Okay. But it's basically about making some major choices and decisions that are determined around someone on an emotional level. Okay, coming in with our victory after hard work and struggle, we have, again, we have the leap of faith. Uh, we have that fool card, and that means get ready to go after what you want, but plan it, okay? Yet by planning it, that's when you're going to see success. Being articulate, doing your, doing your research, uh, digging deep for information that you need, and being prepared. Crossing your T's and dotting your I's. You don't jump off that cliff until you check that parachute, 
okay? Coming in in the center position with your Queen of Wands, you have the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to something. I don't know whether, you know, sometimes it can be holding on to resentment, holding on to anger, holding on to uh, holding on to your money. Uh, it's often called the hoarder, but you're holding on to energy of some sort, some of you. But it could be hanging on to your money and being very careful uh, and frugal with your money right now because you're afraid of, of, of being short. But, you know, sometimes this card can reflect, you know, applying for a loan and getting it receiving the money or it can be having uh, the resources to pay off a long-standing debt coming in next with our with our two of pentacles we have the ten of cups so yeah there's going to be a decision made here um, and uh, you you may have been juggling things back and forth here for a while but now there's going to be a decision made a choice of some sort and it brings you to happy ever after cups filling harmony peace Whatever it is you've been dealing with, there's going to be peace restored to a family unit, towards a friendship, with your children perhaps. Cups filling, knowing that things are going to work out. You know, you started off here at the top of this row with victory after hard work and struggle and you've come down here uh, with the beautiful Ten of Cups. Can't get better. That's the card we call happy ever after. Something's going to come in in the perfect time. Strength card, yes. Having a, the second time it's come in, stand in your confidence level. Don't give up. Don't back down. Um, you know, looking at things in a different way. Maybe, you know, there's been a situation in your life where there might have been a discussion with somebody and there were words spoken and now you're regretting it. You're learning from that. You're going to look at things in a more patient and tolerable way. Okay, maybe even kinder and more forgiveness could be coming in here too. So, there, but you're healing through something here, I think, with the hangman. Coming in here with the Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, fast moving action. So this pause of action that I told you with the hangman is only temporary, right? Now all of a sudden, as you start moving through, you're going to see that, that things are going to pick up. You may be hearing a lot of phone calls, a lot of contacts, a lot of emails, a lot of information coming into you at this time, and you're going to get busy. So this lull that you've been going through is going to evolve, and you're going to be getting much busier, okay? Um, yeah. Lots of, lots of, lots of action. But it's also the card of uh, the Wands of Cupid. So again, some of you may be meeting somebody. Now, we have this Queen of Wands again. Look at this. I mean, they're repeating themselves. On top of the Nine of Cups, you have the Ten and the Nine of Cups. So fulfillment coming in, wishes being fulfilled, standing your ground, being determined, not backing down is going to save the day. Okay? This is being focused and going after your goals with confidence to achieve them. Wow. Well, my beautiful Geminis, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, beautiful, optimistic and promising healthy good week to come. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful Geminis.